I don't want to be typecast as the patina truck guy. So we're, um, you know, we're building this one nice and straight and clean. You know, like Mullenix built us a real badass 408 uh, stroker motor for it. And, you know, we got a big gnarly curry in there with some 35, 35 spine axles. And obviously it's on a porter built foundation. Uh, AccuWare kicked in for a bunch of the air management stuff. And we got some, we, it was funny, we, we did the compression wheels on the driver's side and the Delmo wheels on the passenger side. So it kind of threw some people off, but it was cool to see, you know, the truck had two different looks. Since having it back from SEMA with all that success, we've, you know, taken it to the dyno and got the motor dialed in and, you know, had some, you know, had some things we had to overcome, you know, some fuel problem, fuel system problems and things like that. But, you know, overall the truck was really easy to deal with and, you know, we shook all the bugs out of it. And, you know, it made 700 plus horsepower on the, on the dyno. And, you know, I look forward to seeing Tino drive that truck a lot and, you know, put some miles on it and have some fun with it. So it's really cool to drive these things when they're modded out like this because they kind of look clean and stock. So you get that feeling of you're just driving this old, timey truck. It takes you back and it's, uh, people are always looking and giving you the thumbs up and stuff. So it makes you feel good that you're driving it. And then just to like put the pedal to the floor and the thing just does a crazy smoky burnout or you turn the AC on and it blows, like all those little creature comforts, it's, it's amazing. So, you know, these trucks are old, but they're still totally functional. And uh, it's the greatest feeling because you know you could jump in it and drive it across the country and be totally fine. Yeah. So this thing's gonna get down when it's time.